Got off to a strong start this season. And one thing that you don't notice, but he's actually the tallest member of the starting lineup for North Carolina and has done a much better job rebounding this season. You're used to seeing from a North Carolina team, they normally own the glass. Well, Carolina's best in the ACC in rebound margin as Johnson knocks down the long two. He's going to have his hands full trying to keep the Tar Heels off the glass with offensive end as well. Lights. Misses the runner, gets it back, puts it back up, and in. The two offensive rebounds already for Miami. <laughs> but again, I, I do, think it's I more the UVA that. thing. I do respect. That's Another nice setup by Kobe White. But he's not a natural point guard. He's a natural scorer. And that is what he does best. The all-time leading scorer in North Carolina high school basketball history. Uh, for Kenny Williams, and then you see the speed of Kobe White. Problem each game for Jim Laranega with that short bench. Azundu is prone to getting into foul trouble, and how do you manage it? And Light's also out of the game early for Miami. Working on Luke May. Wardenberg has come into the game for the Canes. And that ball somehow fell. Zach Johnson hunting a shot. Instead kicks it out to Lawrence who fires away. And you can catch it all today and tonight. 10-8 Miami on top. Amp Lawrence continues to produce on the offensive end. He gives up the turnaround of the other end to Luke May. Where Luke May's struggles have come this year is when he's had to play against much bigger competition. But without his undo on the floor, Luke May can have his way. Just like Amp Lawrence is having his way from the perimeter on Tuesday night. Here goes Lawrence, back to work, dump it off Sam Wardenberg, back out front to a wide open Likes. He's got it. Louisville made six out of their first nine threes against North Carolina at the Dean Dome, and that didn't turn out well for North Carolina. But this is a big bucket for the Tar Heels. And Luke May on the backside with Chris Likes matched up against him at the bottom of the paint. High-low, made a little. But That's May where they want him to operate and how that script changes based upon, because if I can tell you right now, if Chris Light starts out now threes and Waterberg makes threes. He's got a plan when they get into the ring until <laughs> you get punched in the mouth. Well, normally with Mike Tyson, that pretty much ended the fight one punch into the mouth. And right now, can't get outside of that because it's such a big game and get away from the script. Likes the takeaway, the hesitation, and he's tripped. Somehow got the ball to Wardenberg. And having a great performance. Seventh Woods may have gotten away with a push. Ball comes to Williams. Dump it off Andrew Playtech off the bench for the heel. That's defensively pressure the basketball and really, you know, get under the skin of opponents. And I think he has to do that for this team to be successful. Luke May goes to the jump hook. He said, look at the percentage. Right. If Luke May continues to get high percentage shots like this, he'll be having one of those games that had him listed as the preseason ACC player of the year. Getting those looks in the post. But Chris Light's putting his bid in as well. Kobe White get those two points right back. The freshman from Goldsboro, North Carolina. And we asked Coach Williams if he wanted to continue to push. Woo! I tell you what, right now, it's hard to get a thought in. Turning down a look on that last possession. But North Carolina wants to win that battle. They want to be able to score inside. Of course, making threes is part of their resume, too, as they make eight three-pointers per game, and Kobe White on cue knocks down one. There's Luke May on the offensive glass. Johnson back to Williams, wide open for three. That's a big bucket as well. Kenny Williams hasn't shot the ball great this season either. From competition, as the university and the NCAA continue to review his eligibility. Zach Johnson. What a move! Over Kobe White. He's, he's been growing it out since the seventh grade, so that's a good head of hair. And they do list him at 6'5 without the hair. Vasilovic for three. A moment ago, four in Carolina Blue on the floor. And well, we, I'll tell you what. In their wins and their losses, his points per game were exactly the same. You know, if they 14 3, 14.2 in each one of those, and he's been the constant. Good position inside. Garrison Brooks over the left shoulder for two. First half fouls, and to see if you can go in him early and see if you can get a third. All right, that was not an accident that they went into Azundu that time, right? Not at all. I mean, it was by design. Abuki Azundu defensively on that end of the floor and ends up coming away with the turnover. Lights right to the basket. Exterior ability to be able to go out and guard defensively. Lawrence says, I can defend a little bit too. 
But Luke May gets it back and lays it in. And the putback. Luke May averaging a double-double again this year. 14 points, 10 rebounds. Second in the ACC in rebounds per game. Now he gets a breakaway dunk. We'll make sure they get a quality look on this possession down the floor. Zach Johnson, second wide open layup of this second half. Off the post defender when he sees Zach Johnson or it was Chris Leitch earlier coming to the basket. And Johnson gets the roll on the long two point shot. And the Zundu has been a much capable scorer in the post for Miami all season long, averaging 11.8 per game. Luke May stays on the floor. And here is Nasir Little just off the bench. Getting out in transition, Kobe White finds Nasir Little who finished. Was slow getting back down the floor. And of course, Little had a lot of speed getting down the floor. But this game, and right now Miami is keeping pace with North Carolina. May skip past Williams. Good closeout by Zach Johnson. Cam Johnson will have a chance for three. Make UNC play longer offensive possessions and reduce the total number of possessions as Nasir Little scores on the jump hook. Because one thing's for certain, North Carolina is going to run the basketball regardless as to how you play. It's a diff just a question as to whether, whether you get back or not. He wants to clear out. Like stump it off, is Zundu to the rim. Poor spacing for Carolina. Williams finally gets an open look and buries it. As we talked about, yeah, he's the only true big on this active Miami roster that has only seven scholarship players currently. Oh, Cam Johnson's feeling good right now. Oh, you know, definitely would be one of the most, and still is one of the most decorated members of the Florida Gulf Coast community. Good passing for the Tar Heels to find May inside. Fine and made it okay to call that offensive foul. And that's his fourth foul, so Luke May and Nasir Little both on the bench with four, and it looks like Izundu's wheels are okay. The other night in Orlando, he went one for 17 for three. Izundu gets a put-back layup. He's making his presence felt back on the floor. The next day, he goes out and scores 58, and the reporter asked him about his comeback, and he said, I went one for 17. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a man... Just like yourself. Well, I can tell you right now, the mojo is going for the Hurricanes right now. With five on the shot clock, Cam Johnson buries it. And Brandon Robinson on the floor in order to gain that experience during this stretch. But they're committed to trying to wear Miami down. Anthony Lawrence went for the steal and ultimately it turned into three for the Tar Heel. Find Brooks inside. He's got Zach Johnson much shorter on him. Kenny Williams. Another big triple for Carolina. For the way they've hung in here in this one. Williams. Three points for the senior. I've been three pointers, two from Cameron Johnson, two from Kenny Williams. And it's allowed them to build an eight-point lead after Miami had just made it a one-point game. Because Miami hit eight first half three. You can tell Kobe White when he's taking that pass is gathering, understanding I can go up and over Chris Johnson now after his two hip surgeries, how much better he is than a year ago. Well, and he's been through a lot as far as his body throughout his career. You see, that's a little coming up with a big block. Harder and keep getting better. And now he's on the chance to be on a very, very good team and could possibly be their best player right now, at least their most productive player. Last three minutes, you can see with the offensive rebounds by Carolina, there has been a difference. Off the steal, Zach Johnson throws it down, and the Hurricanes call timeout. Because that's not fair to Rodney. And I think Jim Laranega recognizes that and says, hey, we'll deal with what we have, but we're not going to burn the red shirt here for Rodney. Zach Johnson lays it in. Well, the game was tied at halftime, 37 apiece, but Carolina with its defense and its three-point shooting just eased away in that second half.